Greetings, I'm Caffeine Ranger. I'm back with more Tron, the Enchanted Edition. Last time we got through Ironforge, and now we are at the Tower, which is the final level of Tron. So, will we make it through this video? Well, if you're not paying attention to the title, I guess we'll, we'll see. Oh, this doesn't feel good at all. Jump to the ledge. We must get to the top. Yeah, this is where Tron, I wouldn't say falls off the rails for me, but it's definitely not my favorite level in that it, th this is basically the Circus of Meat of Tron. And I s mentioned Circus of Meat because that is the final level of Psychonauts, which is also regarded as this a, a, a oddity. And that it completely, well, I shouldn't say completely, but it, oh, okay, those gears are in the background. That the final level of this game turns from puzzle platformer into action platformer, which while not bad, is definitely not something that you would be going into this game looking for. Oh, that was a dick move game, dick move. And actually, uh, where's the lava? There used to be lava on this. Did they change this? Uh, I know easy mode doesn't have the timer, which is the lava, but uh, maybe I don't think I'm playing on easy mode, am I? I thought I picked normal. Or I could be mistaken there. Either way, it this definitely doesn't feel like the previous levels of Tron, which is a definite uh, detriment to the game. In that, and before this, it. Oh, come on. Oh, damn. for that one to go by and then we go through ah come on there we go yeah like I said before, this has a completely different feel from the rest of the game. Not terrible, but at the same time, not the puzzle platformer we were looking for. If, uh, if you like action platformers, you'd probably love the last level, though. As I'm desperately fighting my way. Hang on, let me just check something. I... Uh, I know you're able to change the difficulty, I think. Yeah, I'm on medium. I could have sworn there was lava, uh, even on medium. Now I feel uh, kind of stupid. But still, uh, I think it's a bit late in the level to really complain about it. as we bounce our way up and further up. Supposedly in the original design, we were supposed to fight that giant necromancer guy, but, oh shit, let's see uh, the other skeleton. But supposedly they ran out of time, so they changed uh, to design the full level form that you had encounter them in. So they changed the this level to be more action platformy to give a boss like encounter. Oh, oh no. How far am I falling? Oh. Yeah. Not a good feeling when you fall down that far. And there are no checkpoints.
Ugh, get on this ledge to try to let everything reset. Now this is, uh, even though Iron Forge, Iron Forge was training us to be a little bit more action platformy than the other levels in this game, it's just an uh, uh, oddity. Okay, continue up. And it's also a little strange that suddenly you are getting the evil uh, boxes that you have to deal with as well. Ah. Come on, stop there. Wish that one would just stop rotating just for a moment. Yeah, sorry, watching me try to fail at a particular jump is not very intel- it isn't very exciting, but... It's something that has to be done. At least we still have the wizard, because without the wizard I think this would be a lot bigger pain in the neck. I didn't think there was a checkpoint here. Or is this the end? No, that's the end. Okay, we do have a checkpoint. So we get the, our knight back, finally. Actually, I don't remember this sequence. Was this changed? Hmm. Ah. Would help if I hit the right character, you know? Hmm. Oh, there's all the lava I was uh, expecting. And suddenly it just shoots it up. Maybe the Enchanted Edition changed the difficulty of this level. Because I do remember cussing quite a bit in attempting to complete this. Oh, yes, there was a lot of cussing in this. For good reason, of course. Oh. Because this entire section was timed, and now it's not. So, that's it. Three colors. It's like the Mass Effect 3 ending. Only it doesn't suck. As the evil vanished, the old king, or what little remained of his human soul, was set free. The artifact slowly restored the balance of the world. Life and its joys returned to the kingdom. In the spring, a new king was elected. You don't vote for king kings! Rewards to our heroes. The knight refused to become the captain of the king's men. Instead, he finally followed his father's hoax and acknowledged his other passion, that of food and ale. He became the king's royal ale provider. The thief was offered riches beyond her wildest dreams, but she felt a longing to go back to the forest ruins. The king granted her wish and gave her reign over the forest, where life slowly returned, restoring it to its former splendor. As for the wizard, he finally understood that the road to success did not have anything to do with the fireball spell. 
He wasn't sure what it was, but saving the kingdom certainly helped. After being married a few years to a lady named Margaret, she gave birth to triplets. A charmed moment, many said. We also do not know whether the father felt pride, shame, or both, when each of his children mastered the fireball before the age of one. But despite everything, they all lived happily ever after. And there you have it, the end of Tron, the Enchanted Edition. Pretty much happy endings all around for our three heroes. The knight finds his true calling, the thief finds a true reward in nature, and the wizard gets what he wanted all along, to get laid. Of course, this happy ending doesn't last because, as I alluded to in the series, there is a sequel. As to playing it, it will be another series, but it's not going to be played immediately, so... There's going to be a little bit of space between now, well, as I'm recording this, and Tron 2. As for this series, this ended up being a bit of a surprise for me. As you heard earlier in the episode, they significantly changed the final level of this game. To the point that it's not as crazy as it was, but it's still a bit jarring that it just doesn't feel like it belongs with the rest of the game. It just feels out of place that... You take a puzzle platformer and then suddenly remove most of the puzzle elements in the last level. It's just strange. That said, if you're looking for a platformer, you could do a lot worse than Tron. And the Enchanted Edition, I think, is a worthy addition to the game. So now I'll be signing off and next time I'll be back with a new game. <laughs> Until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.